Hey guys, massive welcome back to my channel. I know I'm really bad at keeping up with YouTube, um, like I'm actually awful. I'm going to be talking through doing this makeup look with you guys. It's literally a 99.9% .9 of Fenty Beauty products that I've used. Um, so let me know what you think down below. This is the finished look. So if you want to see how I got the look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm kind of just jumping right in. I've done my skincare prep. Um, so I'll just show you quickly what I used. So for moisturizer, I used the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Yeah. Obviously, like anyone who follows me on Instagram knows that I rave about this stuff. Like I just love it. Like my skin just looks so glowy. I just wear it by itself. Um, and I think as you use it, like after a week, your skin literally feels so soft and then for eye cream because if you're wearing makeup you need to be wearing an eye cream it really hydrates the under eye especially if you're going to bake i would definitely recommend an eye cream so i use the biosense marine algae eye cream so it just looks like that i did get this in pr but i would 100 percent buy it again i think anyone who again follows me on instagram knows that anything i do recommend I probably did get in PR but then I actually went and spent my own money and bought it myself so that is the milk vegan moisturizer Um, I got that myself as soon as I ran out just because if I'm recommending something to you guys and you guys are spending your money on it why can't I spend my money on it kind of thing so I only recommend what I'd want you guys to spend your money on Um, so I then just for like a lip treatment which I always like to do whilst I'm doing my makeup I just use the Marc Jacobs coconut lip oil love this stuff rave about this stuff um, and I just leave it on while I'm doing my makeup and to be fair I don't actually like wipe it off or anything um, I just you'll, you'll see how it goes like it will just kind of disappear kind of thing but um it doesn't actually go off the lips like i use this as a night treatment as well and it will stay till morning my lips will still feel so hydrated and you'll still get that little bit of shine as well so love this stuff right so that is skincare so i'm just gonna go in and just start with my base because that's what i do first we go in with the fenty beauty i think it's a soft matte primer yeah this is the original one so it's called the same thing as the foundation so it's the soft matte primer i personally like love this stuff um i know it says soft matte but i do think any skin type can use it because as you guys can see i'm applying it in my dry areas um so anyone who knows i have combination skin so these are my dry areas and then here i'm kind of oily like you can see um but i just think this holds makeup so well like it's probably one of my favorite primaries um i only love two primers right now we're not going to talk about the other one because this is a fenty beauty video and then whatever's kind of remaining i'm just kind of wiping that on my forehead it's so nice and you can still see my skin is so hydrated still so it's not a drying matte i think a lot of people get scared when they hear the word matte and it's just like no honey this won't dry your skin out don't worry um but i know they do have the hydrating primers out now but i'm just not a fan personally but they might be okay on you so try them for yourselves for sure and then gonna take the fenty foundation um i did try the hydrating foundation not a fan it broke me out um i then went on to read the ingredients and it's got a lot of oil in it um and i think one of those oils did not sit well on my skin i love this one probably one of my favorite foundations like ever um i love this even for like weddings and stuff like that i'm gonna be using a mark jacobs face one brush so i'm literally just gonna go ahead and apply that as i normally would so i just put a little bit here 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 the nose is very optional because i feel like product spreads anyway um let me just put a little bit more I'm kind of just like stippling it into my skin just like that I wear the shade 310 sorry I did forget to mention 310 um, just before that drips on my top I'll be so mad um, I did try the shade 300 but it's super orange on me personally I have a very warm yellow undertone um, 
so 310 works really well for me and you guys can see again it says it's a soft matte finish but I've still got glow um, and it is down to your skincare prep as well um, so this shouldn't be like scraping on your skin if that makes sense it should literally look like this if you've prepped your skin well so I then do my chin area and what I do with this I also use this for my upper lip as well and this is very like optional to actually put products directly onto your nose like you could just take whatever's remaining from your cheek area I'm sorry if my camera goes out of focus I haven't actually figured out how to use it properly like I don't know I'm not I'm not really a tech person so like medium to full coverage but I do love this foundation because it's very very buildable like if I wanted to put more I could literally just go and put more it's not going to be an issue yeah look at these like I don't know if you guys have seen our baby hairs keep sticking up so annoying i feel like by the end of this i'm gonna have my headband on okay that is me foundation done to be fair i could go in with a little bit more coverage but it looks cute on camera like and i'm not really going anywhere so okay so what i'm gonna do next is go in with my contour um i still don't know which one i'm gonna use because obviously they've got the um they've got their matchsticks and then they've got the cream contour which is the newer product which i feel like i might as well just use because it's new um so in the cream product i use the shade teddy um i really really like this stuff if you don't like a heavy contour or you just want something really light that you can build on if you wanted to then this is it i'm gonna go in with the cream contour because i've got my brush in my hand so i might as well the newest one from their cheeks out collection i love it so much like i've literally i'm so messy with my own personal makeup just kind of getting it like scraping it on both sides of my brush i don't know why i do that when i only use one side what a waste um so i take my contour a little bit higher so you're meant to contour where your earlobe is so i always take mine a little bit higher because i feel like when you blend it goes a little bit down anyway so it will then go where it's meant to go if that makes sense instead of me putting the line there and then when i blend out it's like down here that defeats the whole purpose of contouring or bronzing so anyone who has had their makeup done by me or uh, watches my videos i always put it a lot higher but um it will make sense once we um blend it out and stuff so yeah don't worry if you don't get it and then I just take a bit on my nose. I'm not mad like if it's messy or anything because I'm not even looking. Uh, um, because I just do it to kind of even out the colour on my face because I don't want this area to be like really, really pale. Um, because I do like looking a little bit bronzed and stuff. And obviously contouring my big forehead. So I just take it all the way around because I have quite a round face. So I'm kind of just squishing everything if that makes sense and then i'll just do my jawline a little bit you could put so much on but if you blend properly it will literally just blend away which is what i like um because i don't actually like a harsh contour um because i go in with bronzer so yeah i'm not too mad if this isn't too in your face kind of thing gonna blend that out with a sigma brush so i always start with my nose first because um it doesn't actually have the like movable product on the brush i don't know if that makes sense and then i just kind of go down the sides of the nose and to be fair like i said like i'm not too bothered if this is not neat like i'm literally just doing it to add a little bit of color to my face to kind of get rid of that double chin because we don't like that it's not cute just like that okay side and I'm not actually moving the brush down or anything, like it's literally just in the same place. But and I'm just going back and forth. And you'll see I don't use a lot of swiping motions on my face. I'm literally pressing into my skin. You see how the contour is now in the place where it's meant to be, which is on the earlobe. And yeah. She's not too crazy though, like because that's one side and then you've got that side. 
so that's all blended out like of course if you didn't want to you can skip the powder bronzer stage as well like you don't really need to because for some people this might just be enough but for me no never um because like i said i like to be a little bit more bronzed um so yeah as you can see we're still very dewy very hydrated we're not dry in with is my concealer um so I have the Fenty concealer um I'm not actually a fan of it but I haven't used it in about uh, a very long time like over six months so I'm willing to give it another go but I'm going to do what I normally do and just correct a little bit a little bit of my Tarte shape tape this is what I would normally do so I'm just putting a little bit of that directly underneath my eye so i'm going to take my sponge and i'm going to use the fenty um hydrating face mist i don't know if it's called that i'm just making it up no it's called the makeup refreshing spray and it's called what it do um i actually really really love this spray as you can tell um and i always spray my sponge before i kind of blend out my concealer as well i'm going to go and blend that in i'm going to put it on my eyelids as well do the same on this side and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty. I'm using the shade 310 as well. Um, I don't I don't like this shade. But it was the only one at the time. Because I got this when it first came out. My powder ready. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. So it's just like that. So I love the applicator of this. So I'm just going to go in. This is a really nice highlighting shade. But I think maybe 330 will be more towards my skin colour because the concealers are actually like way brighter than the foundation shades. I always start with my forehead because again I don't want to add any more product there. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then down here. Yeah I'm not mad at that. I actually quite like that to be fair. Uh, go in with powder and i don't actually bake i kind of just press it in that's what i've been doing with my other concealers i don't like the way it just looked on the sponge so i'm kind of scared okay it's fine i thought it was going to apply really strange then i feel like it just picked up so much product like i don't think i've ever put this much of the finny powder under my eye before Oh, it's left me a little bit patchy. So patchy. It could have been the sponge I was using, maybe. Oh my god. I feel like powder makes or breaks the look, and I feel like this just broke the look. The side, anyway. Okay, this side is a lot better. Um, like it literally looks smooth. Bro, like what am I meant to do? So I'm just gonna bronze everywhere. I've done a good job at bronzing me up. And then again, I kind of just place it a little bit higher because the brush will like spread it out anyway. Oh yeah, I'm using the shade um, Beige and Gal. Um, I don't know if I said that already. But that's the only shade that I feel like works for me. The others are like not dark enough or they're too cool. Um, so yeah. Just take that on the tip of the nose as well. Literally everywhere where I contoured. Brush and then just kind of do my nose as well. So. And then I just kind of do the tip as well with whatever's left. Going in with the cream blusher, I'm using the shade Summertime Wine. So it's like a really nice like berry sort of tone. This formula, I don't know, it's different from other cream products I've used because with other cream products, I can't actually use them once I've set my face. Um, like it will literally move the makeup underneath no matter how I apply it. With this one, I found I can use it once I've set my face, which is strange but i love it because anyone who knows me knows i like to do my whole complexion i like to set it and then i like to add my blusher highlighter 
bronzer, all that stuff. Um, so I literally just dip into the product. So I'm just doing that. And then you kind of want to apply it just on like the apples of the cheeks and then just blend it. And this does, again, like it's different to other cream products I've used um, that I like. Because normally I like my cream products to be like matte on the skin. But with this it gives like a really nice glow. If you do have texture on the skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Because it will make it show. But if you like that sort of like dewy look, then it's really nice. So that's how it looks. I really like the dewy look on the cheek area. So I love it. So if you've applied too much, you can literally just blend it away. Um, but I do like a lot of blusher, so I'm not mad. And then I was going to go in with the Ruby Riches blusher because it kind of gives a similar effect. Um, I also really, really like this blusher. Next, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty um, Hustler Baby. So mine's the small one, like it normally comes in the two, um, where you get me, money and hustle baby. But as you can see, I love this product so much. Um, it's probably one of my favourite highlighters, like, ever. I just feel like it pops. So I'm going to go in where that glow is, basically. And kind of just go on top. It's so nice. And I feel like it's not too gold and it's not too silver. It's kind of like that nice sort of like champagne-y sort of colour. So I love that. So always do the tip of the nose and then I do my chin as well. And then what I've been doing, I like to put a little bit on my forehead because again it just adds a little bit of a nice like hydrated look. But in fact my makeup is completely set underneath. I'm not going to need to powder my face. I'm not going to need to touch my makeup. But I look a little bit um, so as you can see a little bit on my finger and then kind of go down the bridge of my nose move on to eyes I'm not going to do anything too dramatic or anything because I wanted this video to be more about the base so you guys can see how I get my glow and stuff um, hopefully you can see how now I'm going to be using the Fenty, of course, Snap Shadow in one. I love these little mini eyeshadow palettes and I love the way they stick together. So I've actually got two here right now, but I haven't bothered to take them apart because I'm like, what's the point? Um, so again, you've got another one and they kind of like come apart. Um, yeah, I love them. I'm just going to take the Snap Shadow one palette and I'm going to take the Fenty 210 brush and I'm literally just going to work this middle shade um, into my crease. And it's just added a little bit of definition into the crease. Um, nothing too crazy. And then what I'm going to do is just take a little bit underneath my eyes. And it just kind of gives a little bit more warmth around the eyes. I love this shade because I feel like it's not too warm. It's not too cool. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice matte sort of shade. That's how it's looking. And I'm literally just going to stick some lashes on. So I thought I would just show you guys the mascara whilst I was doing it. Because when I initially got this mascara, I didn't actually like it. Because it didn't give me enough curl on the lash. But today I'm not mad at it. It's actually really nice today. Um, this is why I always say give products a try for yourself. And try them out again. Like don't just go off like one what one person has said or like yourself going off using it one time like just try it again and um, i'm just going to do my bottom lashes while i'm here so i've gone ahead and stuck my lashes on so for those of you who don't know they're my own brand um so alia cosmetics and these are the style um dreamer Fenty Beauty don't have lip liners so I'm just going to use a KKW lip liner and I'm using the shade 2.5 yeah so it's the nude 2.5 so it's just kind of like a warm chocolatey brown So I always just kind of fill in the outer bits, um, including the edges as well. The Fenty Beauty Lip Paint in Unbutton. I really like this because it's like a peachy kind of nude. Um, again, it will suit like all skin tones, um, but you definitely just need a darker liner with it. Like I wouldn't put this all over. So I'm just going to dot that on. So I'm just going to use my finger. So 
so this is how it looks when it's blended out so i do feel like if you're struggling to find like a nude lip just pair it with like your favorite brown liner and yeah hopefully you end up with something similar um to this i then because i always do this um i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the fenty gloss bomb again you guys know i love this um it's literally like my favorite gloss ever but i love this particular shade which is one of the new ones and it's called sweet mouth um just because i feel like with the original one sometimes it can look a smidge too dark whereas this literally just it complements like a nude lip and um, but still has that sort of like crystally um shimmer in it as well so I just love them so much because I feel like all her lip products feel like really lightweight on the lip. Like it's nothing too heavy. Yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I love doing this. Let me know if you guys prefer me talking through my tutorials or if you just prefer like a voiceover. Um, because I'm happy to do either. So let me know. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe down below. And follow me on my Instagrams if you're not already. 